So, welcome to part two of the entrepreneur vlog, Fireside Chat. Is that the name we stuck with? The entrepreneur Fireside Chat. Okay. Every Just making sure. Every Wednesday. <laughs> Every Wednesday. So, today, the first thing that we wanted to talk about is leverage. And what leverage is as a concept to work in business. Because it's when you start to look at leverage, which we're going to explain, that you start to generate real wealth and build a real success. A scalable business. And what, what a lot of entrepreneurs, and maybe a lot of you guys, or maybe you're a bit more down the line, would have clicked onto this, but a lot of entrepreneurs see themselves as growing into massive saleable assets. Now, to become a saleable asset that actually has a piece of value in it, you need to be able to grow a business that doesn't take time, that doesn't, doesn't offer a time-for-time -time service that the owner has to run. That is a starting point for many, many businesses, but to get to that stage where you become a valuable asset, you need to sort of, what's the, how, how, how do you define it? Multiply, divide to multiply. You need to create something that um, you can work once and get paid for life on. That makes sense, doesn't it? Work once, get paid for life. Work once, get paid for life. And re repeating, recurring, recurring, which is basically... And so that's what leverage is, being able to work once and being paid many times or for life. An example that I like to use when I'm talking about this is if you're a window cleaner and you're a single person in your own company and you go around and clean, in, and clean windows, each window you clean, you're going to get paid for one window. But that's not scalable because you can only clean so many windows in a day, so many windows in a week, yeah. and so you can only get paid that many times. Yeah. When it reaches the point of leverage is when you start to hire people underneath you. And then instead of you doing the work once and getting paid once, someone else is doing the work once, and then you're both getting and the, paid. And the leverage in that is the system. So you create the system, you teach them how to do the windows, um, you give them the system, and you've done the work once to create a system, but now they're doing the work over and over again. You're getting paid over and over again for the system that you've created. That's leverage. Getting paid more than once for a set amount of work. And it's, it's a stage that pretty much every single business has to do. However, as an entrepreneur, you're starting in the service industry, in the time for time industry. It's a phenomenal way to start. You know, how much have we learned in the last three years being a service based business, you know, us doing the service? I think We've that's so the thing. Much. You learn so much, especially yeah. because when you're doing a time for money service, yeah. you spend so much time with the clients. And so then you have to learn about client management, about how to set expectations. So customer service, sales, team, systems, everything. And then one day it will click and you'll think, okay, we're very, very good at this. Um, how do we take it to that next level? How do, we, how do we become that next level business, that valuable asset that is actually gonna take us to the point where we can have you know, the lifestyle we want, we can hit the goals that we want. You know, it's, the entrepreneurism is a very glamorized term nowadays and it's all about startups and, and it's all about big valuations or if you buy a business, it, 1x, you want to be able to sell it for 10x, but not a lot of people understand the sort of system you've got to get to that point. You've got to understand the fundamentals of the business and then leverage it so that it becomes a very, very valuable asset that you do not need to be there to run. I think that's the key point, isn't it? That's the point. The point is that when you reach the point of leverage, that's when it is the saleable asset and that's when it is worth the 10x, not the 1x. Exactly, and the different industries have different x's. I mean, we're not going to be able to tell you exactly what every single industry is, but um, I know full well that a service-based company um, that is owned and managed has a very, very low X multiple compared to um, a very leveraged recurring based revenue company um, that doesn't need the owner there every single day to operate. And even a service-based company with a system in place, it, let's go back to the window cleaner example, if there's a man who goes around and cleans windows, his business isn't going to be worth anything. It's going to be worth as much business as he's got. At best. Yeah, exactly. One of, the th one of the things that makes this explained to me is that Brad Sugars, so if you don't know what Brad Sugars is, go and check him out, but he tells a story and it's, it's basically he used to go to a barbecue um, when he was younger as a kid and he goes to this big, big, great house and you, and you find out that this big, great house was actually his milkman's house and he'd be like, you know, Dad, how is the Milko rich? How, how did he get these fast cars? And he actually went up to the Milko and asked him, how did you get all this? You're only a milkman. The milkman said, you don't make the money selling the milk, you get, make the money selling the milk round. He would build, he would buy a milk round, systemize it, you know, build it up and then sell it. He'd create an asset that's a systemized asset that anyone could then run and then sell it for five, six times what he paid for it, which is very, very interesting. And so instead of getting paid 
once for going around and doing the milk run, he was getting paid for doing that in the year, and then when he sold exactly. for six times or five times, he then got all that money as well. Yeah, exactly. And it's like similar with property as well. You know, we, we do a lot of property stuff as well, and it's like you buy property once, you get paid for life. You know, one of our properties makes a thousand pounds a month. You know, before that, it didn't. We we bought it at six seven hundred. We make it, brought it up to set a thousand pounds a month. Spent a lot of time working it, putting it and systemized in place, and now it churns out a thousand pounds a month every single month, whether I get out of bed or not. And that's an asset. That's a valuable asset, and something that a lot of investors will want to come and buy. So that's that kind of twinge you've got to have in your head when you're thinking about taking that business to the next level is understanding leverage and understanding how you as a business owner or as an entrepreneur or as someone who's starting out in business can really take themselves um, and your businesses to that next level. It's super, super key and, and, and we had that blinding flash of the obvious probably a year ago now. Yeah. Uh, one of our mentors, Terry Matthews, we were sat around a board table with him over in Canada and talking to him about Avalanche, talking to him about the service we were doing and he really liked it, his team liked it, however, it wasn't leveraged enough in mindset terms for them. So they, we went back to the drawing board and we've come up with some really fantastic ideas. So now that you hopefully understand what leverage is and we explained it pretty well there. Yeah, I think, I think so. I agree with that. So now we can talk about what we're moving on to in terms of a more leveraged business, which is where Digital Peaks and Iger comes into it. You have heard Iger the term probably quite a lot of times over the vlog and I've been itching to tell you about it. Um, so, do you want me to do the honours? Certainly. So Iger is a unified communications technology company. A fully now, unified that, communications. That probably makes little sense, but what, what unified communications is, is it takes every single bit of communications you have in your company, so it's instant messaging, it's video, it's voice, it's, it's um, file sharing, screen sharing, recording, all of the communication aspects that your company uses on a day-to-day -day basis through multiple different apps um, or products and unifies it into one, enables you to fully systemize and communitize your company's communication systems. Um, what, and it's an ecosystem product for us because we've, we've, we've partnered with a company over in Canada, one of, te or one of Terry's companies, added the voice, added the servers and created this package that is truly outstanding. That, you know, We really, really believe in this product. It is an industry leading product in terms of the technologies that we've used and the services that we've put in place and the support that we can offer. It is industry leading. Yeah, exactly. And, what we wanted to do is, 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 is change the modern office. You know, as millennials coming through, we're often looking for more productivity tools to help us you know, communicate with our teams more, engage our teams more, you know, employee engagement is becoming more and more of a thing nowadays to focus on. And this product does just that. You know, we've had insane results on our trial accounts in terms of employee engagement. We've had incredible ROI stuff. We've actually got and built an ROI calculator on our new website that shows you the instant cost savings that can be drawn from using this software. And, you know, as a large part of this audience is entrepreneurial and business people, we wanted to create something that would be able to be used as a rep service or an agent service or a channel service for you guys to use. We want you guys to be able to take this product and, and use it with your customers. I'll leave Jacob to explain a bit more about that actually. Uh, so not just yet onto that part, but just to numbers. give you a bit more not of a wise. bit more of an overview into Iger. By fully unifying the comms system in any business, one of the big aspects of that is we're able to get rid of the hard phone. We're able to get rid of the phones on your office desks, which are expensive, yeah. inefficient, and don't provide half of the service that is available at such an expensive cost, yeah. which is why we decided to build in the ROI calculator, because people don't factor in the cost of every new person that they bring on. A desk phone for some companies costs up to 200 pounds just to install, yeah. and then upwards of 30 pounds a month to keep running. And those kind of costs are, they can handicap a business. Absolutely, I think this, what this does is enables you to, you know, it's all about like cost cutting, and this for us is our, is, our, you know, is our next step. We really, 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 really can't wait to launch this product, and it's coming out in January, and. We'll, we'll explain that over and over again and in terms of much more detail for you so that you fully understand it. Um, but yeah, big opportunities. And this is our, that was our BFO, our, our chance to take our business to that next level. You know, understanding what it takes to become an extremely successful entrepreneur and extremely successful business and take our business to the point where it's really, really worth something. And then when we do launch in January, that is when we are gonna have a number of channels, a number of representatives able to go and sell our product and promote it to their clients, to people who they think 
this could work for and generate an ROI for them, building their reputation in their area, yeah. in their field, and also selling a product which we want to revolutionize the modern office. Yeah, we wait. want to make a change. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. I really can't wait. It's just that next. It's just the next level. I just, I just really, really look forward to it. I really can't wait for it. So just get some leverage. Get some leverage in your company. Get, get learning. Get doing stuff. It's, it's, the time is now, as most people would say. Exciting time. 2017. It's going to be big. Good stuff. Stay tuned for next week. We'll be back next week for a bit more of a light-hearted chat probably next week. Some questions from, uh, from the viewers. Some questions from our team. Um, a bit about us. And uh, we'll see you then. And the last one before Christmas. So. Is it? Yeah. Actually. Yeah, oh, that'll shit. be the last one. Well, the next one will be after Christmas. But we'll leave it there. Actually, you'll be in Ireland. Anyway, see you soon. Bye.